Live from the Fox 43 studio, this is the Fox 43 Sports Wrap with Bruce Rader, presented by GEICO. Preseason injuries are a concern for both NFL and college teams. And now, two key injuries forces Old Dominion coach Bobby Wilder to change up his offensive philosophy. I'm Bruce Rader. Welcome to the Sports Wrap Live on this Friday night. As soon as Old Dominion star quarterback Taylor Heineke left for the NFL, offensive coordinator Brian Scott started putting together a new game plan, relying heavily on rookie of the year running back Ray Lowry and the blocking of tight end Melvin Bond and backup freshman end Adam Swain. But key injuries to both Vaughn and Swan changes everything. Our, our starting tight end, Melvin Vaughn, um, and he was a wide receiver, tight end, H-back. He'll be out for the year with an with a ACL. Unfortunate injury, wasn't touched, put his foot in the ground, um, and that happens in football. And our backup tight end, a, a young freshman, just broke his leg the other day. Uh, I don't think you'll see as much tight end as we were planning on doing, but that's okay. The Monarchs are one of the youngest teams in all of college football. Quarterback Schuler Bentley is a freshman. Running back Ray Lowry is just a sophomore. This is the first season, though, that the team is fully stocked with players and plenty of good ones. The one thing that's really unique about this team is this is clearly the most talent we've ever had here, and that, that's saying a lot. We've had some really talented teams. I, I think back to 2011, 2012 when we were in the playoffs, especially that 2012 team that was 11 and two, ranked number six in the nation. Um, but the talent level we have right now is is clearly the best we've ever had. Um, but that's also combined with the the youngest team we've had since 2009 when we started. And if you'd like to check out the new look Monarchs, they will scrimmage tomorrow night at SB Ballard Stadium at seven o'clock. It is the only practice that will be open to the public. 